you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, friggin' Belsif. Well, as you can see, I'm gonna go back to the van here for a minute today. And we're gonna do a little sand here on the side of the van. Because I put a little skim of, as you call, fiberglass bondo on her. And we're gonna see how it looks because this was a crater in here. I'm not a bondo guy, but hell, we gotta dry something. Tomorrow we gotta go to London and pick up the drive shaft for the old truck. So I figured today, I'm gonna just dick around with this for a minute. We put this bond on about three weeks ago, and it was rain, it's was it been rained on and wet 10 or 15 times or so. So it should be okay, but we're gonna hit it with the old sander and see what she looks like. Well, I can tell you one thing right now. It's probably gonna take a few minutes to sand her down. I might take the high spots down with a little bit more material here. A little extra doodad. This should take down the high spots a little better. I didn't realize this stuff was that uh, hard, to be honest with you. Damn it. Okay, just so you know, the sandpaper I'm running right now, it doesn't work. That brings us to the conclusion of this video. Because I haven't got any more sandpaper. Yep, I'm not a body guy. But hey, that don't look too bad. Well, right? looks like we almost got her there, Jim. Might want to sand this down a little bit more. We'd probably do that. Because I just kind of threw the excess down here. Like patches mint. That's how you do her, Jim. Okay. Now we'll just put another skim over that, and we'll uh, we'll hit her again. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh boy, this one's gonna take a minute. I should have just left her alone and put paint coat of paint on her. But we'll get her. I'll get the right sandpaper, and we'll take her down again. Oh uh, yeah, that's mint. I should just paint her like that. Here I thought I was gonna actually do something useful today. Looks pretty good from back here. Looks pretty straight, doesn't it? Epic friggin' fail. You can do one thing straight, maybe. Wrap an extension board up. You can probably do that okay. It's not gonna be professional by all means, but leave the comments down below what kind of sandpaper I should be using on that to break her down, to get a smooth surface, to not make it look like it looks right now. There definitely should be something that can use, right? I would say so. I got out two extension cords to do the same job. This one wasn't quite long enough. This is more of my welding extension cord for my 120 welder. So I don't have a 240 welder. But this sure looks like 240 wire, doesn't it? So that's why I run out to the bus there to, when I want to do some welding, which we're going to get doing soon. Maybe even this week. Depends how the drive shaft thing goes. If I get my drive shaft tomorrow and it goes real easy, then we can drive the truck again. We'll be welded. On the weekend there, we had the tracks pull last next door. It was pretty good. It was a good time, actually. Got the yard cleaned up from that. Lost a few pokers, but there they are. I found a few pokers. Here I thought I lost them, and there they friggin' are. So as you can see, my truck's still up on the lawn dart thing here, and I'm charging my scooter. We're running dual batteries in this scooter. You guys already know that. But uh, I have to put the fan on them because it gets so hot. You can't even hardly hold them. That's good. This one's charged. So now we can charge the secondary battery and then we'll be good to go on the next scooter ride. I've tightened up a few things on here. The main uh, rear suspension bracket was loose. That'll fix that problem. She'll be safe again. Wifey Poo did get herself an electric scooter. And I'll show you that right now. Vitalon UV. Vitalon U7. We got a Vitalon U7 for the Wifey. A little e-bike. I got a really good deal on this thing. I'm gonna do a little review video on this, and this is not sponsored video. This is actually, I paid for this thing off another YouTuber I did. I bought it from him, he got it to review, and I'm gonna give it another review. So, it's pretty good. It folds in the middle, the seat comes up, the handlebars fold, even the damn friggin' pedals fold. Check this out. Would you look at that? So that's pretty neat. She's got uh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven speed, which means that's what the U7 stands for. It does have a rear basket or a rear holding tray and a front holding tray, but we took that one off. It's got front headlights, rear headlights and turn signals. It's got a horn. It's got uh, five different speeds. It's, it's pretty neat, actually. Let's go for a little dig, I'll show you this thing. How this thing works is you push this button here and hold it down until the screen starts doing a whole bunch of ding-dongs. There we go. It's got five speeds, so we got two, three, four, and five, which is on the screen right there. This thing is pedal assist, which means when you pedal, it assists you. When you stop pedaling, it stops assisting you. It also has a throttle on the handlebars. If you floor it and hold it, it goes into cruise control, but it will not stop until you hit the brakes. Also, if you use the throttle on the steering or on the handlebars, you also have to use the brakes. So, we've got a front fork up here, which is suspension, no rear suspension. That's okay, we don't really need rear suspension. So, let's get rolling here. A lever and pedal assist right now. Oh, geez, hang on to her, Jim. Holy. So this is pedal assist. So when I'm pedaling, it's going. When I stop pedaling, the motor stops. And then she slows down. I pedal, and she starts to go again. You can hear the motor actually engaging. So in second gear, you'll do about 10 miles per hour. So that's pretty good. So right now, as you can see, to change gears, you just push the button once and it goes down a gear. I did have to adjust all that, which wasn't too bad. Brakes are all hydraulic by the feels of them. There's, I don't see any cables and they have a reservoir. Yep, they're hydraulic. We got full hydraulics here, boys, girls, peoples. Everybody's cutting their lawn today. Is everybody on holidays this week? So it does have a headlight button you can hit. That turns the headlight on, of course, and it has information station, which does nothing. But let's take her up the fifth gear here, and I'll show you the, how fast she goes, if I can hold on to her. You're gonna have a kind of a weird angle because I gotta hold the camera and drive this thing, so. Now you gotta remember too, I am 250 pounds, okay, so. Uphill. I like the big fat tires. They're kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Twenty-six, twenty-seven point three. She moves pretty good. She does. Nothing like hitting the front brake while you're trying to work the camera. Now remember, if you're riding this thing around, make sure you put a helmet. On. Actually, she gets up to a easy. 25 mile per hour on a straight flat surface to be on it. So I'd say that's pretty damn good. I'll put the amp hours description in the bottom because I'm not actually sure what the amp hour is because I never got instructions for this bike. You just kind of had to figure it out for myself. I should have held the camera with this hand. Then I could have went, hey, look. Man, that would have been easier. That was a full throttle. scoot on wifey poo's e-bike not too shabby she's been on her three times now she seems to like it but we'll have to see how things go have to get her into sarnia one day and take her out on the old scooter ride with me what do you think of that i think that'd be a great idea but this video turned out to be a whole different deal because i was gonna work on the van but like you seen i had the wrong sandpaper for the job so that one's gonna have to wait but in the meantime, we figured you'd take you on a little e-bike tour of a 
new member to the family. Wifey's member to the family. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Tomorrow, like I said, we're going to London to get a drive shaft. So once we get back, we'll get that in and then we'll see if this thing will move. I need 14 quarts of friggin' transmission fluid as well. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Anyways, have a good one and we'll see you on the next video.